I have a zip box, I have a knife, a camera, and you. You know how this goes. Let's roll the intro. The knife I'm using today is the Manix 2XL from Spyderco. I love the little locking system. Let's do this. So sharp. Apologise for the wind. It was gorgeous and still out here about 10 minutes ago. Now the wind seems to have picked up. Nothing I can do about it. Sorry, I can't really film inside. Woo! I love that blade. All right, zip box, 2019, February. All right, so we have three boxes, the original, the basic, and the pro. This is the pro. Um, we'll start with the original. All right. Let's get that out of the way. First cab off the rank. Cedar Summit, I love Cedar Summit. They make really good gear. Uh, a TPU guide accessory case. That bad boy right in your arm. We'll open her up. If I can figure this out. M, 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 M. Why do I make the simplest tasks tasks look so complicated? Um, you know what? I'm just gonna cut her open. Without cutting the case. Oh, so much easier. Should have just opened it. Alright, so how does this work? Oh, second layer of Velcro, and that unrolls, and does that open up? Yeah, it does! Alright, so what do we have here? A oh, little lanyard by the look of it, or a little neck thingy. So, it says, Waterproof, freeze-proof, and abrasion-resistant resi TPU material. So it looks like when you're trekking, you can put your phone or your camera or your passport or anything you don't want to get wet and damaged in there to keep it dry and secure. Mad! I've been traveling for a while, but I did travel a little bit a few years back. Went to a few countries and spent about four months traveling the US. So I understand how important something like this is. This is great. Figure out. There we go. There is no way that's going to leak. So we fold it over, roll it up. It gets velcroed down again, fold it over, and velcroed. That's super secure. I like that. I'll be using that when I travel again. When I travel again, not if. Matter of when. All right, so that is valued at 30 bucks. That's cool. Good, 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 good. All right, next we have... Really light green. I'm so glad I got this one. This is the, where is it? 360 degrees insulated drink bottle. Ooh -wee. just got chilly. Uh, it has a capacity of 550 mil wide mouth which is good because you can fit your ice in there if you want to keep it cold. Uh, it keeps cold for 24 hours and hot 7 hours. Nice! So pour your coffee in there, pour your soup in there in the winter, or put your ice cold drinks in the summer. Nice wide mouth. If you're going on a trek, you can clip it onto your bike, uh, your bike, your bag. Uh, high grade stainless steel, non-toxic, odour, taste free. Which is really good. I've had a few stainless steel bottles that taste like shit for quite a while until you sort of break them in. Resist bacterial growth. Totally going to be using that one. That bad boy comes in at a retail of $29.95. Good start. Okay. I've done this backwards. I should have started with the basic box. Not to worry. The basic box is a 360 degrees dry bag. Which I have about five or six of these, which I recently bought. If I had a 
weight at all. We've got this bad boy. Uh, I've been kayaking a lot, a lot. <laughs> Learned a lesson last weekend, but well, I didn't. My friend Jay did. He went kayaking with me and he capsized his kayak with his brand new Galaxy Note in the back of his kayak, not in the hatch, not in a dry bag or anything. It sunk about three meters, along with his graphite rod, his fishing net, his tackle box, his knife, and his line trimmer. So if he had had something like this, um, we would have been able to salvage all that without having to go duck diving for 45 minutes. I ended up finding it all, luckily, but um, if I had been in a bright green bag like this, and tethered, would have saved us a whole lot of hassle. Dry bags are awesome. Um, I use them a lot when I'm out on the water. Put your phone in there, put your camera, put your wallet, whatever. So what I do with mine, obviously to secure them, they get rolled up three times or so, and then you clip it around like that. What I do when I'm on the kayak, I have bungee cord behind me to secure a bag, whatever you want. I just loop that under the bungee cord and secure it that way. So if I do capsize or it gets a bit squirrely out there and it gets washed over the side, it's not going anywhere and everything's gonna stay dry. So if you're out on the water, these are worth their weight in gold. So my dry bags aren't quite as nice as this, so I'll probably give one or two of those to my brother, who I go kayaking with, and I'll keep this one for myself. So I like that. 360 degrees, like Cedar Summit, they just make good stuff. You can't go wrong with anything they make. So this is uh, eight liters which is 17 by 46 centimeters and it weighs 44 grams. So it weighs a sweet FA, which is good, good. Uh, that has a retail value of 19.95. Uh, up next, all outdoor gourmet. I love all these freeze dried meals. I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's Indian, excuse me, the reflux, uh, butter chicken. I love these so much. They're really, really nice. Very easy to prepare. Just add your water, mix it up, let it sit for 10 minutes or so, um, and you're good to, to go, ready to rock and roll. Um, this is a big one, this serves two, which if you're a fat bugger like me, serves one. But, um, yeah, I can't wait to get into this bad boy. I'm going camping on the weekend. I'll be taking that with me. For sure, that has a retail value of $16.50, which is really good. So that's what, $8.25 a surf? Can't go wrong with, uh, with that. Uh, up next, Ooh, I have something very similar already, which I use on my boots, but not this one. This is Granger's G-Wax, natural, why is that stuck? Natural beeswax, there we go. Put that stuff there. Oh, I love the smell of it. I got, I've got a little uh, shoe brush, which I just dip into this. I've got, like I said, a different brand already. Um, and then I buff my boots. Just scale off some, a bit more protection, a bit more water, waterproofness, if that's a word. Um, it's really, really good gear. It softens and conditions your leather as well and your shoes to add, add a bit more uh, life out of it. A uh, retail value of $9.95. If you have leather boots, you really need to get that stuff. It's fantastic. I can't speak to that quality as yet. I haven't used it, but I will be. Um, but any of the waxes, they're, they're good. They'll work. Uh, up next. Ooh, light my fire. I'm not a fan of light my fire. I know some people aren't, but I really am. This is a lunch kit. Made by the Swiss. Uh, it says, all you need to carry and eat lunch in style. Easy to clean, stain resistant, and it floats. Which, if I take it in the dry bag, on the kayak, I don't have to worry about it at all. Double protection. I make the most simple things look really complicated. I really do, I'm sorry. Fucking down there. So how does this work? That's oh, just rubber. So we have a little container, I'm not too sure what that would be for. I guess you could put anything in there. Another little rotary shaped container. Guide. Oh, it's just about all their stuff, what they make. Timber selection, Swiss fire knife, we got pop-up drink bottles and cups which we got in a previous box. 
there's something really cool that they make, which um, if you're listening, Dewey, Future Box, the Grandpa's Fire Fork. I don't know if that's in camera, right there. Um, it's just like a fork for, it's a bit in the rear, sorry. It's a little fork you can put on any stick you find, obviously within, within the right size range. Um, and it converts that stick into a fork so you can toast marshmallows, you can shove a sausage on there or a bit of meat, and cook it over the open flame. Uh, and it packs down super small, super flat, takes up hardly any space. And I think they're awesome. I've seen them before, I haven't used them, but the idea is great. And I'd love if one of these was in a future box. Hint, hint. I've already got a Light My Fire Spork, but you can never have too many. It's a nice little blue colour. And all that, I guess, sits inside. There we go. Locks nice and tight. Sweet as! Let's see how that packs down. That there. That there. Uh, I'm guessing that fits. Oh, it's like it's made for it. It all fits. It's nesting. Now yeah, I don't know how it goes back together. I'm telling you, I make the most simple tasks look complicated. Ah, there we go. It's got, I don't know if you can see, it's got a little slit there. I'm really not sure what that's for. The lid doesn't have one. It might be in that little booklet. I don't know, I'll have a look at that later. But I like that a lot. Gonna be using that. That one has a retail of $29.95. So if you bought the basic box, uh, cost you 50 bucks. Has a retail of $76.35, which is good value for money. Uh, the original box is 80 with a retail of $136.25. And if you have the Pro Box, which is what this one is, uh, I have something very similar, but not nearly to this quality. It's just a knockoff of this one. The 360 degrees Ferno stove and pot set. Uh, it includes an 850ml large pot, the 350ml small pot, which doubles as a lid, uh, made of hard anodized aluminium or aluminium for you weird Americans. Uh, the canister stabilizer, which is what sits on the bottom and stops the, can uh, the gas canister falling over which is great, so you don't have to worry about trying to find a level surface to a degree. Um, the handles have uh, insulated handles which fold around the side, so they can all nest within each other. And it comes with a scourer, which is cool. A lot of them don't, this one does. That's everything in the box. Get that out of the way, I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Nice little handy carry net to keep it all together. I love all these little gadgets. So there's your lids. I'm guessing that's just packaging to hold it all together. So the handles fold out. They're insulated so they don't get too hot and you burn your, your little fingers. Yeah, that's just um, packaging. There's your larger pot, which is great for boiling water. For that, does it have marks on the inside? No, I really wish all these came with like a 25 mil or 50 mil increment so you've got a rough idea how much water you're boiling for your meals like that. They don't. It doesn't really matter. At, at worst, you add too much, it's a bit soupy. But um, it'd be nice if they had indicator marks internally. <laughs> have a blue scourer. I guess you could probably cut that down the middle and double your scourer to two. Yeah, it's coarse, it'll certainly get the job done, but it's not super abrasive, which is probably a good thing, since you're not scratching your pot. Um, what I've done in the past is just got the big blue, uh, big, big green scourers, I think Chuck's make them, there's probably a whole bunch of people that make them, and I sit them on top of Sorry, underneath here. And I trace around it and then cut it out and sit it inside. That's what I've done in the past. 
This is a better option because it's made for it specifically. This is the canister stand, which looks like it folds up. Yes, that's good. It just folds like that. Sit your canister. It looks like it can take two different sizes, which is good. Sit your canister on there, and this is your little burner. Which just screws on top. Why are we stuck on there? Is that a warning? What does that say? don't know what language that is, but it's not English. French. I don't see English anywhere. I don't even know what that says. And I'm not bilingual. So these are just the instructions. Pretty basic. Use outdoors, don't use inside. Use in well ventilated areas, all that jazz. That's Espanol. French, German, Miss English, Dutch, Norsk. English is on the first page. Good one, Brad. Um, the weight is 99 grams. The folded size is 52 by 52 by 118 millimeters, which is tiny. Uh, boiling time, 3.5 minutes for one litre if it's under 20 degrees. Um, and 6 minutes for one litre if it's under 0 degrees. Cool. Gas consumption is 254 grams an hour. Oh, these are sweet. I like this a lot. Does it have an igniter on it? No, I don't think so. So for those of you that don't know, these just screw onto your little gas, little gas canister, fold your arms out, open this up, and, and away you go. I'm guessing this is a bit of a windbreak so it doesn't blow out the flame. I don't know, I've just got cheap ones, they're not nearly as good as these, so I'll have a bit of a mess around with that later, if I can fit it back in. What am I doing wrong? Does it go back in? It should go back in. I don't know. I'll sort it out. Sweet box. Sweet, sweet box. I loved it last month. I think I like this one more. I think I prefer this one. And last month was badass. Uh, your monthly prize, I didn't read that out, is a LED Lenser P3, a little keyring torch. Unfortunately, I didn't get this month, but that's cool. I got it. I think I got it the very first one. Um, a little ready man folding stove. It's different to this one, which is cool. So yeah, that's it. Awesome. Um, I love it so much. I'm definitely going to be using this, that. Maybe not that this weekend, but I will use it, and I'll be taking that when I go camping. Um, just going away for a few days. Perfect timing, Dewey. I'm going to be using all this stuff. Uh, yeah, so until next time guys, cheers!